Welcome to the Department of Chemical Engineering and Materials Science Undergraduate Teaching Laboratory. Our approximately 3,000 square foot lab space, which opened its doors in November of 2014, is located on the ground floor of Amundsen Hall. This lab space, which has been supported by a generous donation from the Valspar Corporation, is designed to provide practical instruction to the four core pillars of material science and engineering, structure, properties, performance, and processing. In this laboratory space, we house more than 35 pieces of unique equipment for our material science and engineering laboratory courses, undergraduate research projects, student-led professional groups, and outreach events. The goal of this video is to provide you with a quick overview of the laboratory layout and the location of some of our equipment. Please keep in mind, though, that since we are constantly improving, upgrading, and purchasing new equipment for this lab space, some of our equipment may be in a different spot when you come to use our space. As we just discussed, the Materials Science and Engineering Undergraduate Laboratory is located on the ground floor of Amundsen Hall, which is located at 421 Washington Avenue Southeast in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Our main entrance door number is room 47 and is easily recognizable by the painted Inkberry color hallway. Our lab space actually consists of five rooms, room 47, 49, 49A, 49B, and 49C, all which are fed from the room 47 main entrance. Room 47 is the largest room in the teaching lab. After entering the lab space, you will need to take a quick left towards the west wall to store backpacks, jackets, or other personal belongings in our storage shelves. This helps us maintain a clean lab space and keeps working areas clear of clutter. Along the west wall, you will find some of our mechanical testing and processing equipment, including the universal testing instrument, aka a tensile tester, a low energy impact tester useful for brittle materials, a wire draw station, a die press, and our hall effect station. Along the north wall of room 47, you will find more of our materials processing equipment. This includes a vacuum deposition system, a blown film extruder, and an ejection molder. The center work area of room 47 has more processing and mechanical properties equipment. In this area, you can find numerous high temperature furnaces, a high energy impact tester, a fatigue tester, a hardness tester, a force gauge, and a creep tester. The east wall houses one of our two fume hoods, a sink, and general lab safety equipment. This equipment includes nitro gloves, ear plugs, cryogen and high temperature gloves, sharps disposal container, broken glass disposal container, and our material safety data sheet binder. Finally, the southeast corner of room 47 contains our wet lab equipment. Here you will find polishing wheels, a dip coder, a rheometer, and a dynamic mechanical analyzer. Past room 47 contains a long hallway that branches to four smaller rooms which are labeled rooms 49, 49A, 49B, and 49C. Our 3D printing workshop can be found in room 49. Here you will find various 3D printers and the other fume hood. Room 49A contains many of our electrical characterization and magnetic characterization equipment. Here we will find our vibrating sample magnetometer, electrical probe station, semiconductor junction testing station, and impedance analyzer. Also in this room, you will find both of our optical microscopes, a low magnification video scope, and a higher magnification inverted metallography based microscope. In room 49B, you will find our scanning electron microscope, atomic force microscope, and profilometer. Here you will also find our optical properties rotation table and UV vis IR spectrometer. Across the hallway is room 49C, which houses our X-ray diffractometer. At the end of this hallway is a double door fire exit. These doors should only be used by students in the case of an emergency as they feed into a separate research lab. However, from time to time, you may see authorized individuals entering or exiting these doors. These individuals have been given clearance to utilize both laboratory spaces. With more than 35 pieces of unique equipment that spans five rooms, the undergraduate teaching lab can seem overwhelming the first time you enter our doors. Hopefully this quick tour can help orientate you to what various pieces of equipment look like and where they are located when using our lab space.